Okay, gentlemen and ladies, <laughs> it is wipe day, as you can tell, by the mass of nakeds running around, all trying to get to their build spot, and today my build spot is quite interesting. In fact, I can build this base anywhere on the map. We are in fact going to be trying to make a tree house. This is going to be pretty fun, I think. It was wipe day and I wanted to build in a tree. I had done something similar before and it is probably the best video on my channel, so I figured I'd go for round two. Traversing through the field, I had my eye on launch site this wipe. A chaotic monument filled with potential and for a solo like me, this was going to be perfect. The one good thing about this is the base spot is just never going to be taken. I can choose absolutely any tree in the world. I guess we could farm a couple of these nodes. It seems kind of quiet. I think I'm pretty far ahead of most people. I think I definitely want to be making a starter base for, for today's wipe. Oh, he's just running. Fit him twice. Oh. Three. There we go. Yeah, the hazmat, this could be good. Yep. So yeah, as I was saying, I think I definitely want to start a base for this build. Only because I'm not sure how I'm going to be building this treehouse. Um, obviously I know how to do it, I just don't know sort of what foundations I want to be placing. I don't know what tree I want to be doing, what area. So I think it's going to be safe for us to definitely make a, a little starter base. In the general area of course. These guys must be together. Don't know how I feel about fighting that. Oh, there's three of them. Luckily, two of them are naked. Oh, he was crafting a bow. No, this could be the end, boys. Ah, oh, GG to them. Placing bags along the way, I managed to respawn on one near to outpost. So respawning there, I continued to travel south towards launch site. Oh my god, there's just people everywhere, man. Ah. Oh. Oh my god, that guy's from the UK. Ah, oh, this is familiar territory. I might hit some barrels actually. Oh, he saw me, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I'm good. I had made it to the general area of where I wanted to build. I didn't want to get too caught up in farming just yet as I wanted a safe space to depot some of the loot I had collected so far, so I opted for a shack for the time being. Well, I guess we'll just call this starter. In fact, it's not even our actual starter. I'm going to call it Shack because we're going to need a starter base after this as well. Just as long as I have a safe respawn point, I'm happy. Okay, nice. Look at all the trains, dude. This area is going to be... Uh... Oh my gosh, yeah. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to get most resources because soon it's going to be very difficult to get anything. And you know what? I really like this area a lot. It seems quite enclosed. I might not be able to find a chunky tree, but if I can find like a few grouped really close together, I'm going to build around them.
11 arrows. Oh no, that isn't good. Okay, oh my gosh. It's a shame I couldn't kill the other guy, I feel like he's kind of loaded, but I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. Okay, let's get this starter base down. Honestly, just her. Should do the trick. Okay, so yeah, we have this starter base down, which is good. I guess I'm just going to transfer everything over. And then we can begin searching for the tree and uh, getting to work on that. That's going to be really fun, I think. After transferring the loot to a more secure starter, I headed back out to do some farming so I could add another airlock to my 2 by one <laughs> Thoughts on that tree? <laughs> I mean, I can't get deeped. <laughs> I then settled in for the night as my furnace was smelting metal. And as soon as the sun rose, I was in for a really nice surprise. Oh god. Um, I've just heard SAR shots from my neighbours, so that's brilliant. I wasn't recording because it's night time, but yeah, nice. Uh, the birds are tweeting, that means one thing. It is morning. I guess I'm going to try and head into launch site, get a few barrels. In fact, I think I can make a metal door. Yeah, I can. That's good. We'll do that first of all, and then yeah, I think I'm going to head into launch. Awesome. I do quickly want to say a massive thank you for last week's video support. It was unbelievable. It's my best performing video in a very long time and, you know, I'm so grateful for that, really. So thank you to you guys that watched that and supported me. Hold up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're trying to hit 100k by the end of the year. So if you aren't subscribed and you enjoy weekly Rust content, then of course consider subscribing. I'd greatly appreciate it. See if we can hit 3000 likes on this one. I haven't set a like go in a while and you know 3,000 likes seems doable so if you guys enjoyed the video I'd greatly appreciate it and it looks like we're gonna get this for free ladies and gentlemen no way no way I mean I have blueprints on this server but this is gonna be a huge help oh my god no way no way the nighttime airdrops coming in clutch let's go man the jackhammer nice Don't even have a tier 1 workbench yet. You know what? I really like this area. I like the fact I have a decently sized group next to me. I think I'm going to try and build this treehouse around here somewhere. Where exactly? I don't really know. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Yeah, I'm going to head into launch site. Wish me luck. I think the Bradley group has probably uh, been and gone. So, yeah, let's go. Let's have a wetsuit going in. Over here. In the direction of that big base. Maybe they died. What does he have? Crossbow. Pistol. Revy. He's got a saw. Oh, I kind of regret not fighting him now. There's a few of them. Another guy coming back.
Oh, I don't want to be getting on the wrong side of these guys already. Oh god, I'm going to get shot. Oh, they're going to know I live here. There's so many of them. There is so many of them. Oh my god. I think I'm screwed. I think I'm screwed. Concerned for my own safety, I decided to build yet another starter base with a different Thor skin so they wouldn't suspect anything. I had reason to believe this was the same group that ran past my base minutes before, so I wasn't taking any chances. Not with the start that I had. Well, we don't even have a tier 1 bench, so yeah, let me go fix that. I think I'm just going to run the road behind my base over here. I just saw two people, much more geared than I am. So I'll just take what I have now, depot it. I think, yeah, this will probably be enough for a tier one, I think. I don't know how much scrap I have a base. I think I have about 20. So yeah, this should be enough. Oh no, not quite. I need two scrap. Two little scrap. Oh no. Kali, 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 Kali. Nice shots, dude. Can craft a metal hatchet, luckily. I wanted to start my treehouse sooner rather than later, so after some farming, I went out to look for the perfect tree. I see a guy. Look to my left. Bucket helmet. I think that's one of the group. Yeah, it is. I see. See some guy behind me already. Don't know what he had, but I'm not risking it. I've got some pretty big plans for this. For this treehouse. I just need to find a good spot. When I first came here, I saw this, this selection of trees here. I think it's going to be really cool if I build around these. Obviously, all the way to the top. We're going to have a nice open open rooftop but I think it might be a bit too close to these guys I'm not sure don't know if that'll be a problem I feel like I can probably hold my own against them hmm what if we go down here I mean there's the oh here we go this is cool oh it is radiation though that is cool though ah yeah we have a few options I don't want to go too far like I said I kind of want to live near these guys you know what maybe I just say okay and I just live over here I'm liking the look of this, this spot. I really am. I think I'm going to go for it. I think I am. Oh. <laughs> okay. Morning was upon us and I had now scouted the perfect tree. I went over and set down the foundations of what was about to be a fantastic build. So we want to build around them, I guess. Oh my god. Okay, hopefully it's just a random team mining in the area. Because if it's the group on the hill, it could be bad. They probably just destroy everything. Ok, 
Okay, I like this. Just enough resources, like literally just enough. Oh yes. After transferring over all of the loot, I was now established in the starter base to this treehouse. Now it was all about the grind to a tier 2 workbench, but with launch site being my main monument, this hopefully wouldn't take too long. We actually only have 18 scrap. Um, yeah, so I guess the grind for the tier 2 begins here. This guy's coming out of launch site. Maybe he farmed it? Oh, he's farming. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh my god, that guy didn't want to die. Oh my god. Okay, this time... Let's go and farm some scrap. Beforehand though, I kind of want to do a few things. I just want to add wall frames everywhere. Stability, mainly. Even though I don't think stability will be an issue, but it might be down the road. I am not alone. I just feel like there's someone about somewhere. I'm not one military great yet. Kinda sucks. I'm not staying too long. Okay, we made it. Really good. Yes. The respawn rates were super fast, so I did one more launch site run and then headed out to do a little farming, as this base wasn't going to be small. I'm so glad I got that run. Okay, he's already looted me and left. Somehow. Oh, no, I see someone. With a saw and he's naked though. Should be a pretty free kill. Kind of embarrassing myself right now with these uh, shots, but we're getting the job done, just. Oh, he barely looted me, in fact. Okay, I'll take it. Like this. In fact, I'll wait till daytime so you guys can see. Okay, it's now morning. We are not staring at nothing. So, jump up. Uh, let me see. So, door, door. Either one doesn't really matter, does it? I'm going to go here. Not sure why it's gone to Brutalist. Okay. It's going to be pretty hard to see though, <laughs> I've just realised. <laughs> um, we're going to have to do some pretty weird peaks on this thing for it to actually be defendable. Okay, I've just done some basic upgrading. Just some sheet metal. Of course we went for green in the forest, try and stay as camouflaged as possible. He says as he has a bright white door. 
<laughs> oh, you can place things like through the branches. That is so cool. <laughs> that is cool. I'm gonna try and stay camouflaged. It's gonna be hard with this big old bucket on my head though. In fact, should I just buy the the camo version? Yeah. Perfecto. tough. That's so tough. <laughs> oh my god, is he gonna mini bomb? Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> You're joking. I had been smelting metal non-stop since I had my furnaces, so I could comfortably sheet my entire core, not only making this base slightly camouflaged, but much more expensive to raid. I then figured it was about time to get my tier 2 workbench, heading into launch site with my trusty double barrel. First of all, let me take my anger out on this dog. <laughs> I guess I'll take a crossbow as well, just in case I need to... Uh, do some long range shots. That's my bucket helmet, what the hell? From earlier. <laughs> How dare they chuck out my bucket helmet. This is our tier 2. I think. Oh, we need to go. We need to go. Oh. I have persevered. I have grinded. Don't kill me now. Please. Fucking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, how can you be so blind? Oh my god. Yes. Yes! Oh. Finally, man. Finally. It was good. Hello? Anybody there? <laughs> what is that about? Oh, anyway, tier two. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go. I guess we'll just place this up here in case we need it in the future. Now having my tier 2, you guys know me, I crafted a few garage doors for the base. I then continued roaming my tier 4 double barrel for the time being, but soon enough I would continue on this treehouse base. I had big plans, but before that I wanted to have a little fun. Lol. <laughs> You're dual camping those guys. I'm super excited to finish this build. It's going to look so sick. Oh yeah. I threw Loki. <laughs> oh my god, feels bad. <laughs> Poor guys. 
Oh, they're a little bit of stuff, I guess. I thought maybe they were just looking to set up a base. Oh, no way. can't place beds on the ground, can you? That would have been so good. Oh well. We just have to put it upstairs. Nobody can see that. That should be fine. <laughs> oh, you might be able to see it from that angle. It'll be fine. The chair. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's see what I can do with uh, honeycombing this base. Let's see what's going on. So obviously TC. This is much more expensive than I thought it would be. Triangle square, square. Square, triangle, triangle. Oh, that's not even that bad, actually. That's fine. Oh, that's honeycombed. Oh, this side, actually. I guess I'll just extend the front. Sick. Sick. There's two? Oh my god, you're kidding me. Damn it, dude. Are you kidding me? They were loaded as well. They dropped so much. He's going to find that for sure. Oh my god, I can't catch a break. I can't. Dude, I swear I just got aim coned so hard. Well, he didn't find my farm, so that's good. Oh, I guess I got my farm. Here it is. Yippee! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. There's no way. <laughs> I'm getting camped. I'm getting camped. Oh my god. This is insane. This is insane. <laughs> he was in this corner back here. He's not there anymore. Oh my god. This is weird. Dude, where did he go? <laughs> okay. Oh, 
I've decided I need maximum visibility in this base. After what is just a card. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I should probably craft electric furnaces. I think I'll do that later. Okay, let's add the mandatory item, which is wood shutters. It hides that I have a garage door here, which is the reason I got it, pretty much. Yeah, so far so good. I don't know how much stone this build's going to take. Bearing in mind, I want to get to the top, so it's probably going to take a decent amount of stone. Nothing that I can't farm, of course. Don't mind putting a little DB in here. The base is pretty big already. It's kind of finished actually. This one hasn't been upgraded in a while though. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. Maybe they don't really care to upgrade. Oh, and Brad is being taken. I'm going to build up the next couple of floors because we've actually been building up quite a lot of materials so best to put them to use don't want them just being sat here It's so difficult to actually see what I'm doing right now. Oh my god. I need to get to the top. <laughs> There's so much noise, like just walking through the shrubs. <laughs> okay, this is as high as we'll go for now. I want to go a couple higher though, of course, so we're like fully above the tree. But for now, I think this is pretty good. I wonder what this looks like from the outside actually, that would be interesting to see. Oh my god, I do have the stability to do that, no way. Dude, that is sick. Oh my god, this is going to be awesome. We have like a doorway leading out into each of the squares. Can we even do that? No way. Is it gonna... No, stability. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Hell yeah. Yep, I got an idea. We'll worry about this another time though. We don't need it just yet. I'm gonna go a couple more floors up as well, like I said. So we're above and then we'll try and get a shooting floor right on the top as well. Oh, that's cool. 
And then if you just picture it, all of it being green sheet metal as well. Cargo container, it's gonna look good. I was super happy with the progression of the base so far, but like I said previously, this was no cheap base. I would need a fair bit of farm, wanting to do gatehouses, external tool cupboards, compounds, and of course the completion of the build. Okay, I'm gonna think about doing two externals. I'm also gonna make myself a salvaged axe. Just means getting wood's gonna be much easier. Like this, I guess. Okay, I don't think it's going to be perfectly symmetrical because obviously the base isn't symmetrical. I think I need to bring it off of this triangle to be as symmetrical as possible. Okay, I'm happy we've got these sorted out, that's really good. Again, it should somewhat be symmetrical. Yeah, I think it's as best as I could have done. With a compound, this is going to look just fine. Okay. Turning this whole base green would require a lot of metal, so if I set up electric furnaces and an industrial system, then this would help the smelting process a ton. Lots of people ask me why I use electrical branches instead of splitters, and the simple answer is, I just find a lot of them when looting crates, so I put them to use. Just wanted to clear that up. What colour can we go? Go red? Let's go green. Oh my god, it's so horrible working around all these branches and stuff. <laughs> Sell these to three, because that's how much an electric furnace is. I love doing electricity, it's so simple, but it's so fun. Here we go. Looking good. Oh look, my horse is here, what the heck? I'm on the hunt for metal blades so I can make metal barricades. That way we can get get the compound down, that'd be really good. I see some guy. What does he have? 
a rock? I think I, I feel like he, he might have some loot though, because I saw binoculars being dropped on the ground. You might have components and stuff, I don't know. Yeah, kinda. I'll take it. I mean, he gave me another blade or two. Ah. Okay, how many can I make? I think I'll just need four. And I think I have the perfect amount for four. Which is quite funny. Uh, I actually don't even have the blueprint. There we go. Yeah, I think I have the perfect amount. Yeah, four. Cool. After farming wood all throughout the night, I was ready to begin placing the walls of this compound. Like so. Okay, that definitely wasn't in the middle. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Hell no, hell no, hell no, hell no. I just had a hazmat stepping around. Oh, hell no. have the perfect amount. Yes. Hell yeah, dude. Compound complete. It's a pretty neat compound, I think. It's quite big as well, actually. Bigger than I kind of expected. I thought you could crawl under that. Just okay. That's a new base. Should I Molotov raid that? I think I will. Is he locked? No, it's not. Cool. Looks like it's going to be just a very simple raid. I'll take it. Okay. There's two. Oh no, this is not good.
Yeah. That's such a shame. Maybe they don't find the wolf headdress guy I killed. Uh, not too much. As my furnaces were steadily smelting all of my metal, I can now begin the process of camouflaging this base. Day one, I have a full sheet core with a full sheet honeycomb. That is incredible. I don't think I've ever had that before. There's a guy right there and I don't actually know what he has. I can't tell. Maybe just like a pistol. That was really weird timing. What the heck? You know what? I got a storage adapter from that. I might just quickly automate these furnaces. And then we turn it on. Yep, it's taking it out. Nice. And it should put it in. Hey, here we go. We'll have, this is like the first shooting floor, if that makes sense. So we'll have this, then we'll go up maybe like two more floors, and then we'll have the top. Like the crow's nest sort of thing. Open rooftop. I want to put windows on these. Here and here as well. Siren light, siren light, there you are. 40, nice and cheap. And I took the wrong path. Oh, we're looking high up. Look at this, starter base one, starter base two, starter base three. <laughs> okay, let me garage door this off. And I would love to garage door that, but I can't because of the pipes. And to be honest, I can't be asked to un unwire it. I do actually feel quite safe. I'm not going to lie. I do feel quite safe. It was getting really late, hence why I was talking so softly. I decided to log off for the night. This base stood out, so I was really hoping I could continue this build the next day and not wake up to an offline. Guys, I have some good and some bad news. The good news is that we survived. The bad news is that it's night time. <laughs> it was early in the morning and night time, so heading to launch site I did a big recycle run. I wanted to tech tree to turret and place a few around my tree to max out its security. I bought a laptop and a camera to recycle with me but I think I'm gonna keep them just in case I can tech tree turret or something.
Where's the saw? Oh, I don't know where the saw is. It's turning morning now. I'm going to drop everything here. Okay. Gotcha. 728 scrap. <clears throat> Which is almost enough to tech tree to... I need two scrap. <laughs> I waited to get the two scrap for now. It wasn't an urgent thing I needed. Instead, my industrial furnace setup smelted through everything overnight, leaving me with tons of metal. So I put it to good use, upgrading more of my base. I then added a few more floors to my treehouse. I don't want that chainsaw. Do I have a bag down there? I actually do. Problem is, I have no idea where I... Oh, right here. Nice. <laughs> so. Okay, I don't know how this is going to work. Like, I know the idea in my head. I need to figure out how I'm going to make it work. I think I need to do something like that. Yeah, of course, stability is a problem. Stability is still a problem. It's going to suck if it is, yeah. Ah, oh, the idea isn't going to work. Maybe we just have an open roof. Go like that so they don't connect. Yeah, this is looking pretty cool. If I do say so myself. Look at this. We are high up. God damn. I was having too much fun upgrading and improving my tree base. I think it's about time I had some fun with some PvP. Come on. Come 
Come on. Come on, let's go, man. I'll take that. Let me chuck this down here. Okay. I need to try and get that and leave. Oh shit, did I hear that? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm not looking, oh, I need to look back actually. I don't care. Let's go. Oh. Meow. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we profited a lot. Large backpack. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen guns. <laughs> that is awesome. I love that. I love that so much. Just a bit of cover. Oh my god. In fact, because I have Python BP, I'm actually going to put a Python in the, the turret. I think it's going to be much better. Yeah, my neighbours are about to take Brad. You know what that means? Time to grow up. Dude, that Bradley was trash though, look at that. I mean, 90 Expo is kind of cool, I guess. Two cameras, I need a laptop. Do I have another laptop? I, I do, yes!
Mini going large, I'm gonna go large as well. Just getting some crude. Oh, sorry, getting some low grade. Because I saw a boat on the shore. Oh, you're kidding me, dude. I'm fucking two. Are you kidding me? Oh wait, I think I killed the M2 with the MP5, by the way. Because it was suppressed, right? Yeah, I think I killed the... That's quite funny. I went back out a few times with tier 2 gear, but ultimately just kept dying. So I decided to finish off my wipe with an M2 roam. This is so bad. Okay, well I've waited for about 5 hours. Um, I even put my M2 in a shop. <laughs> Nothing's happening, so I think I'm just going to go roam it. Let's go have a bit of fun. Thing is as well, like, I'll keep my eye out for maybe some raids, but honestly, there isn't any. Because all the bases have either been raided, or they've been built up. Like, th I, I, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh my god, I just heard about 10c4. Way. Why was he so weak? Why was he so weak? Oh, bastard car. Dude, as if. Oh my god, imagine they were just random people running around in a car. No way. Wow. Yeah, it is the same group. Okay, it's fine. No! I killed one as well. Oh my. In fact, I think I killed two. I don't think I'll be getting a raid defense, to be honest. There's literally no one in my area. It's it's dead. <laughs> I mean, I'll go back to this one more time. No way. Why am I seeing like a f***ing 10 man? Bring it on pussies. No, I killed two of like 10. Oh my god, what is that saying? What is that saying? <laughs> there was so many... <laughs> this area and, and server has gone extremely quiet. I don't think I'm going to get raided, and to be fair, I'm almost out of gear, <laughs> which is so sad. Well, I'm going to give you a tour <laughs> of this treehouse.
It's a shame we never got to use these peaks, but it is what it is, man. Sometimes you get an online, sometimes you don't. I guess we just got unlucky. I think the coolest part of this base is the roof. Look how cool this is, dude. It's quite unique. I know it's open up here. Ideally, you want a turret, I guess. But yeah, this is, uh, this was home. <laughs> 